Arbat camp, home to over 2,000 displaced Syrians. The surrounding mountains do little to ease searing summer heat. The camp lies on the outskirts of Suleimania in northern Iraq. Mohammed has been living here since August 2012. He is 12 years old and was a high achieving student in Syria. His dreams and ambitions now interrupted by war. We were there and uh, every day when I'm, when I'm coming from school, I, uh, I'm see on the street uh, people and they're killed. And uh, we are, me and my brother, we are become very scared. And we run very fast to our home and we shout. And uh, my mom opened and we go to home and we close the door. We stay to the, the situation become better. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees visited Mahmoud's camp this week, stopping by his tent. Mohammed told Mr. Guterres about the home and the friends he sorely misses. Many Syrian children have been taken out of school by war. And with the conflict showing no end in sight, more are at risk of becoming a lost generation. But the children of Syria must not be forgotten, said the High Commissioner. What we are afraid is that with so many crises, uh, uh, Iraq, uh, Syria, uh, the Ukraine, Libya, South Sudan, uh, that uh, uh, there might be uh, in the international community less commitment and less support. But let's not uh, forget that Syria is the mega protected crisis of our times. Uh, almost 3 million registered refugees, more than 6.5 million people displaced inside Syria, uh, a country that uh, has been uh, torn apart. Mohammed dreams of the day he goes back to Syria. When I'm come, uh, I think now I'm come back uh, to Syria and I'm and when my first day I will go, I will think I'm like bird and I will fly in the sky because I'm happy to go and come back to Syria. This is my hope and I wish go to Syria near, soon. Three years into the conflict, life at the camp has become less transient and more mundane but traditions are held onto, an everlasting memory of happier times back home.